What's up guys and girls, C Lopez back once again with another tutorialism. Now with today being the 31st of December 2014, I thought I'd do a quick video on my favourite plugin of the year so far. And that plugin happens to be Presswork by Yuhi. Now what this is, is a Dynamics processor, it's, so it's a compressor and it's a really really versatile, very tweakable compressor. Uh, it's capable of doing some very precise kind of more digital domain type compression and it can also emulate a lot if not all hardware and analog compression. So uh, very very uh, tweakable and very versatile compressor and this has got an absolutely amazing sound on it. So I'll begin by just giving you a quick run through of some of the features on here and then I'll show you how I use it in my tracks. Okay so at the top here we have the display. Uh, by default in the display it will show you whichever preset you have loaded in um, and it will also show you the value of whatever parameter you're playing with as you can see there. And to the left here we have the bypass mode, a uh, bypass button, sorry, which flashes when you've got it pressed in. Underneath here, in this section here, we've got the input detection mode. So we have feed forward, which is uh, very sensitive to the incoming signal and uh, it allows for high ratios uh, when you're compressing uh, and it's quite clinical and it's not very forgiving but you can get let's say very clinical with your compression next up we have feedback mode now feedback mode is a lot more forgiving and a lot more musical i guess and it's it, it kind of emulates the way a lot of analog hardware compressors work and next up we have the interact the interactive button which is kind of a happy medium between the feed forward and the feedback mode. Uh, next up here we have the channel link which links the left and right channel, channel 1 being left, channel 2 being right. Uh, you can also unlink them and process each channel independently. Uh, we've got a mid side button here which uh, changes channel 1 to the mid and channel 2 to the sides and again you can process them individually and next up we have DPR and DPR as you can see in the manual here is the dual phase rotator which as you can see it gives you a kind of phase smearing and was used originally to tame vocal transients. Um, Next up we have the mix, we've got a, a dry wet mix so you can do some a parallel processing. Uh, you've got a high pass which is the high pass on the incoming dry signal and you have a level. Underneath here in the main section here you have the input level and the output level and you have meters here for each channel. Uh, down here you have your regular compressor your regular compressor uh, controls. Underneath we have side chains so you can switch from internal to external if you want to do some external side chaining. And we have a delay on the side chain and a high pass and a low pass filter with the option to change that to a 12 decibel slope. Next up we have a saturation section and you can have your saturation affect the signal pre-compression or post-compression. The amount is as it sounds, it's the amount of saturation you've got in here. The dynamics, which is shown as a percentage, uh, determines uh, how much, well, it deter well, hold on. The dynamics, when you have it all the way down, will mean the saturation is just like at a constant level. When you have the dial up, the saturation will only affect which the part of the signal which is being compressed and then you have a warmth dial here which kind of uh, saturates the 
the higher you have the dial up, the more the saturation just affects the top end of the signal, so the higher frequencies. And last up, we also have a sidechain monitor. Right. Oh, and we have this section here where you can label what this instance of your compressor do. So as you can see from my label here, this is what I have on my drum bus. Right, so I'm just going to show you what I've got going on on my drum bus here. I'm just going to hit the bypass button so you can hear the signal uncompressed. Okay, and I want you to listen to the kick and the snare. You hear that's really bringing it out. So as far as settings go here, I've got a ratio of 2 to 1, so hardly anything at all. I've got an attack of 10 milliseconds and a release of about 400 milliseconds. And I've got my dry wet ratio set to 30-70, so you have a 70% of the compressed signal with 30% of the dry signal uh, dialed in there. And as you can see, got a little bit of saturation going on here as well. So again, I'll play the signal without and then with. So with. Also, for anyone interested, after after the compressor, I've also got the this there. Uh, Pultec emulation by Nomad, which I picked up in the holiday sales. Sounded real nice. I'll just show you before and after. So, without the EQ, and with, just cleaning things up nicely. Alright, so next I'm going to show you how I'm using the press work for my parallel compression on the kick drum. So on solo the kick drum, I've got my kick coming out of Big Kick by Plugin Boutique. Sounds like this. I'll turn the Neo compression off. And on. So yeah, it's just very subtle what I've got going on here, but it's it's making the kick drum a little bit more punchy. And I'll just Solo up just the compressed signal on its own. And bypass it. So you can hear I'm heavily, heavily compressing the kick drum there. <coughs> Got a ratio of 6 to 1, attack of 24 milliseconds, and release of 90 milliseconds. Uh, with a little bit of saturation on, not much there. Okay, I'll turn down the the compressed kick and I'll just dial it in so you can hear the effect. Hear that? So without. And with, okay, I've also got a little bit of a, a, a little bit of EQ, a little bit of a low end here on the compressed signal as well, just to add a little bit more of that body back. Right, so next, I'm going to show you how I've used it on a bass part. So I've got a really, really simple bass line here. I think it's just two notes. Solo it up. I've actually got the bass coming out of Hive. It's just a, a quick bass patch that I put together. Uh, this is the new synthesizer from Yuhi. Um, uh, I think it's, well, yeah, it is. It's still in beta mode, so you can download it for free and have a little go of it yourself. Uh, it's a really cool synthesizer here. Um, it's just a one page uh, layout, so you can see everything on the one page without having to switch those uh, screens, which is pretty cool. A little bit of EQ uh, from 
plug in the lines. I've got the Mag EQ4 on there. And then let's see what press work can do on this. So for this, I've actually been using one of the presets rather than dial it in something myself. And the presets on this thing are absolutely incredible. Uh, the thing I really like about the presets here is you have a little explanation of what each preset is and how to use it within your own uh, mix. So under bass we have two options here at the moment. I'm sure more will come along in the new year. We have an Opto 2A which I guess is a, a LA 2A kind of emulation on the bass. So let's hear what that sounds like. Without. And it is doing what, it's, what it says, it's tightening up the bass and I actually had this GL type bass. So it's giving quite a bit of aggression. As you can see it's driving the input signal quite a bit here. I'm just going to turn the output down on it a little bit. Without, and with, yeah, and quite a lot of aggression there. I really like that, especially for this uh, synth sound that I've that I'm using. Let's hear that with the drums. Let's hear without. Put down a little bit more. Turn it off. I'll put down a bit more. With that. And with. Right, so next, I've got it over a guitar part. Uh, this is just one of the guitars that comes with Ableton Live 9 Suite. Let's bypass the compressor. Let's see the guitar part. And the preset I've got loaded up here is called Clean Funky. So let's turn it on. Off. So yeah, that's really just evening things out quite a lot there. Really liking the sound of that. Uh, next, I've got this uh, Wurlitzer, and it's the Wurlitzer V from Arturia. Really, 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 really nice Wurlitzer emulation here. And let's hear the Press work on that, so let's bypass it. And here, the preset I've got here is this Mojo Snap Opto. So I'm guessing by Opto, I'm getting a bit of a LA 2A type emulation. You see, it, we've got a suggested basic workflow on how to use this preset, which is really nice. So let's turn it on. So as you can hear, just a real, real gentle compression, but I've got a nice little bit of saturation on here as well. Uh, so I hope you can hear that through YouTube. Without. with so just nice and subtle but it's just it's just add a little bit of something extra especially this tiny little bit of saturation down here so let's hear all those things together Next up, let's hear what it sounds like on some vocals. Now, I got these vocals from this girl here on SoundCloud. 
SoundCloud uh, Teacup Feels. Um, she just puts a lot of acapellas on there, free for download. So if you like the sound of her voice, uh, go up on SoundCloud, get in touch with her. I'm sure she'd love to hear from you. So let's solo up this vocal here. I'm just going to take the auto pitch and the multiply off for now. Let's load it up and let's bypass it so you can hear the unprocessed vocal. <coughs> waiting to bloom like a light bulb in a dark room. And the preset I'm using here is called uh, Vox Comp Warm and Airy. And you see in the little description here, it says for female vocals, try dialing in less saturation and adjust the sidechain filters to a higher pass band, which I think I've already done. So let's put that on. Like a light bulb. In a dark room, like a flower. I'll put the high pass down, dial it up so you can hear what that's doing. Like a light bulb in a dark room, like a flower. Just let me uh, take the reverb and the lay off so you can hear properly. Turn it off and do before and after again. Waiting to bloom. With like a light bulb in a dark room. I really like this little feature here. So as you can see, I've got some of the dry signal coming in a little bit. So I'm gonna put it to 100% dry. And I'm going to turn this high pass filter all the way down and show you what that's doing. So, this is the dry signal unprocessed. We'll put the high pass filter up. And then dial in the wet signal again. So, I'll turn that down so you can hear it. Like a light bulb in a dark room, like a flower. So you get like kind of a little bit of a, an excited type Waiting feel as well as with the uh, with, with the compression here as well. Kind of cool. Like a light bulb in a dark so room. Put the reverb back on and the like delay. Like a flower. Waiting to Let's put everything back in. So next up, just to show that this is just a, a go-to compressor for everything, let's do a little bit of side chaining. Uh, there's a few different ways you can do this in Ableton. I'm going to choose the sender to a return and send a return to the side to the compressor mode. So open up my returns, right click, it's a return shack, I'm going to label this uh, SC sidechain. Um, I'm going to put the sidechain over the high string sound here. So get the press work, Just stick it on the end and now on this return channel I'm going to open up the in out options it's audio send audio to high string and as you can see press work is automatically entered in here and I'm going to send kick to was it D to send the kick to the side chain? So I'm sending kick to D, which is the side chain, and the side chain here is then sending that to press work. So a little bit convoluted, but there you go. 
So let's see how this works. So let's solo up this. Let me just turn off the rest of the returns. Okay, so we want to switch the sidechain here to external. And let's monitor, see what that's coming through. Yep. And you can also mix between those, which is quite nice. And set the threshold down. Ratio. And what's nice about doing it this way, you can add a bit of saturation to this string sound as well here. Hear that with the kick. back in, let's switch the retains back on, nice, so I think for the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to see how it works as a, a master compressor. Uh, so as you can see, uh, I'm coming through quite hot here on the master channel, so I'm just going to turn all the channels down a few dB, maybe 4 dB. work on the master channel uh, so one thing I forgot to mention before you've got this HQ button high quality which uh, gives you up to I think four times over sampling um, but obviously it takes up quite a lot of your uh, processing power so um, I think it's best advised just to leave that off while you do the, your mixing and then when you go to render everything down just make sure you remember to switch on high quality mode on all your instances so again I'm just going to try one of the presets, see what that sounds like. Two track mix down. I like it, this, uh, this uh, mid side down compressor. And so, as you can see there, my uh, process has gone a bit mental. So that give that pipe to chill out a little bit. Um, let's put a bit of EQ on. Let's try the lag EQ as well. See if the computer can handle it.
finally got this uh, free liberty from Computer Music by Tom Boosters. So I think that's about as much as my computer is going to handle for now. So yeah, I want to thank everybody for your support through 2014. Um, I'm looking forward to making a lot more of these over the next year. So thanks for all your love, thanks for all your support, thanks for all the likes, comments, subscriptions, and that's it for now. So happy new year. This is C Lopez tutorialism. Peace.